Hey there, I'm not Dan, but in this video we are going to be learning about electrolytes and non-electrolytes. It's... Well, welcome back. Now the question posed before us today is, what are electrolytes? Well, yeah, it's that stuff that you've got in Gatorade, but what exactly are they? Well, in order to truly understand electrolytes, we first need to ask the question, how does water dissolve an ionic compound? All right, so check out this animation right here. And as you can see, the water is picking apart this ionic compound one ion at a time until basically you've got a whole bunch of water and a whole bunch of ions floating around together. So why is this happening? Well, it's because the attraction of the water molecules to the ions is stronger than the attraction of the ions to each other. Now in the case of something like calcium carbonate, if you recall in the last video, we saw that calcium carbonate does not dissolve in water. It's an ionic compound, so why isn't it dissolving? Well, it's simply because the attraction of the calcium and the carbonate to each other is much stronger than the attraction of the water to those ions. So anytime you have an ionic compound that is not dissolving in water, it's only because the attraction of the ions to each other is much stronger than the attraction of the water to those ions. But in the case of something like sodium chloride, well, water is stronger and that's why it's able to pull apart the ion. Now what does this mean for electrolytes? Well, electrolyte is, or an electrolyte is simply anything that dissolves in water and conducts electricity. And what is necessary to conduct electricity? Why? Ions, of course. So I have got the four substances that we saw in the previous video, and we're simply going to identify them as an electrolyte or a non-electrolyte. Okay, so we are going to start here with sodium chloride. Okay, so we already know that it dissolves in water, but as we put it on in, the, or the conductivity, conductivity test are in there, sorry. Um, you can see that the lights come on, so it is conducting electricity. Therefore, sodium chloride is an electrolyte. Okay, the next one up here. This is sugar or sucrose. All right, so I put the tester in. Okay, green light does not come on. Therefore, this is not conducting electricity, okay? So this, the sugar, is what we call a non-electrolyte. Now, what about these two? The candle wax and the calcium carbonate. Well, is there really any need to test their conductivity? Well, no, because they don't conduct electricity, which means that these two substances are not an electrolyte or a non-electrolyte, okay? So to sum up, an electrolyte like salt, must dissolve in water and conduct electricity. Sucrose is a non-electrolyte because it dissolves in water but does not conduct electricity. Anything else, like the candle wax or the calcium carbonate, that does not dissolve in water does not fall into either of those two categories. And it's that simple. All right, if you have any further questions or any specific examples you'd like for me to, uh, to answer, just comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, I'm not Dan and neither are you. Check you later.